Hello everybody, this is Les Williams talking to you from my lair here at home, and welcome to a new week of schooling in this new world that we belong to. I want to speak to my introduction to engineering uh, classes, principles of engineering, computer integrated manufacturing, just for a few minutes, because we haven't had a chance to talk since any of this started, so I hope this format's okay. As always, um, you're accessing this through your Schoology accounts or LMS for our, our Project Lead the Way course. Um, but also, don't forget you have um, that email icon, and some of our assignments have those discussion threads at the bottom, which you can use. Obviously, Mr. Leckie and I have been taking a little bit easy on you guys, just giving you some things to think about uh, and reflect on on our assignments we've had so far. And we're going to continue to do that as we kind of get used to this new world. But um, this fourth quarter is a special quarter for me because especially in the introduction classes and a little bit more so in the um, principles of engineering classes as well, we actually have some new skills that we can apply in very real world situations. Uh, in introduction engineering, you have the skills to actually make things, modeling them in 3D. In this part of the, the year, we'd actually start using our 3D printers and our cutting robots to make those things that start in our imagination become real life objects. And um, I'm kind of I'm sad we don't have this time face to face together because it's an exciting time. Uh, what we've really been working for all year. The same is true in principles of engineering. In a way, you've got some programming skills. Um, you've been working with mechanics, and you know a little bit about electronics now. And we're going to put that all together to make robots or machines that actually work for us in some very interesting and complicated ways. Again, since we're not face to face, we can't pull the kits out and explore some of that together so also that makes me pretty sad but we're gonna make the best of this because uh, we do have skills now that we can apply in real life situations to solve problems and um, if there's anything facing the world right now um, as you can see is my background here is this idea of this virus that's that's happening and the impact it's having on everybody from my daily lives to those people who are working with people who are in crisis well, um, in the webpage behind me, it's COVID Supply Connection Movement. I believe from what I can tell, it was started in Chicago. So for this lesson, I'm going to ask you to look over this website and consider the design you see here. And is there a way that we can be involved in this? If so, what do you think it is? Also, could this design be improved so instead of using 3D printers that we use other materials? Think about the kinds of things that we have access to that a lot of schools and a lot of places don't, like the cutting robots. Could this design be made out of other material that we could use um, lasers or CNC machines to improve the process? That's what I want you to think about and reflect on. Let me know what your thoughts are and uh, maybe drop a note in the discussion down and let us know how you're doing. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.